Hello fellow Wastelanders, and this is a generic fox fur back with another Fallout 76 video. And by another, I mean the first one I have ever done. I have been watching a bunch of content similar to this on YouTube, so don't go thinking that I am the first one to do something like this if you see similar uh, content elsewhere. Uh, you can thank Captain Noob for my ideas, if you could call them that, uh, for making these kinds of videos. He is one of my favorite YouTubers, and you should definitely go check him out. I probably will leave a link to his channel in the description, because he's essentially the sole, um, I guess you could say, inspiration for these videos. But today, we're going to be taking a look at this. And by this, I mean, uh, hang on, give me a second here. This. It's the Slugbuster. This is a unique plasma rifle that you can get if you side with the Raiders and do their final quest in the Wastelanders DLC for Fallout 76. So here we have a good 3 star legendary. This is just because I have the prime capacitor on it so I can get more ultrasight plasma per craft so it's ammo efficient. So we have anti-armor, lucky, and weightless, or ignores 50% of the target's armor. Vats crits do 50% damage and 90% reduced weight. But since this is a very unique plasma rifle, we get to have a secret fourth legendary effect, though it's unique in its own. It's a 20% reduction of action point cost. You don't see it, but it's there. Typically, it's a 25% reduction of uh that's cost per shot so 20 percent is unique in the fact that it's the fourth legendary effect on this and that no other gun in the game has that specific 20 percent reduction so for attachments we have the prime capacitor as earlier mentioned the aligned sniper barrel and aligned stock for vats accuracy and for ap reduction and a long scope for vats uh usage i guess you could say but i'm going to change it up in the original recording of this video I was using this sniper scope on it, but I think I will try a uh, reflex sight instead, because that will reduce the action point cost of this thing substantially, and it just gives us a nice little field of vision. So we're going to go and test this thing out in a, a variety of different scenarios. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so this is our first location in Libya. We are at the National Isolated Radio Array in the Savage Divide. It has good amount of super mutants and other things, and a really nice looking, uh, I guess you could say, satellite dish, because that's literally what it is. So, let's get started. Oh, and before I get on to this, I should probably go over my perks. Rifleman, standard. A few things in strength, just for some more survivability. Fireproof, because that 15% less damage from explosions and flame attacks will help a lot in my uh, survivability. Action girl and gun foo for VATS usage and just for more survivability with dodgy. A bunch of miscellaneous perks and charisma just to get it up to nine so I can share with other people. And my uh, legendary perks look like this. I have legendary luck, intelligence, master infiltrator, taking one to the team, funky duds, and wood rats. And here is where the bread and butter of this build will come into play. We have Grim Reaper Sprint, Better Criticals, Ricochet, Class Freak, Starts Jeans, and Critical Savvy. All these together allow me to use this thing effectively in VATS as well as being able to survive and reduce the debuffs from incoming mutations. So, let's get on with it. So this thing uh, was a unique weapon, obviously I mentioned that before. But people might be wondering, why would you use something like this? Isn't a handmade or a fixer better? And why they might be for something like stealth. For non-stealth, full health commandos, or not command- I, Yeah, you could mod this thing to be commando if you wished, but I'm just going to be keeping it truer to how this thing was actually modded. At least when you get it, which is with a light vision scope, a medium one when you get it. So, we're getting pretty good damage, 296, almost 300. Over 500 with a headshot critical with him. Or trying to shoot me. Well, succeeding in shooting me. But uh, in any case, it's doing pretty well. Only dispatching these guys in a few shots and with uh, Ammo Smith and Master. Not Master. Uh, with Ammo Smith and uh, Ammo Factory at max rank together. 
you can get 540 plasma cartridges. Also, that mutant hit very hard. Very, very hard with that missile shot. I guess it's because I don't have um, the best explosive defense in the world. Something is still detected me. I'm not quite sure what, but I have healing factors, so I would have been re uh, regenerating had it not have been, I guess, in caution. Like, right there, you saw that. So anyway, let's try this with stealth. You know, hitting pretty good. Be able to kill that guy before he even mutated. Which is credit, because uh, on private servers, enemies mutate very quickly when they're legendary based, because the server latency is very good. And that is a piece of script. And he's dead before he even... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a bash damage. I was gonna say, it's a very context-sensitive drop, though, considering that this thing is an anti-armor plasma pistol in merit. So, that went pretty well. And, uh, now... We should go on to the next part of the video that I have in store for you guys. And here we are outside of Harper's Ferry in the mire. This place is uh, performance hell. It will destroy the shit out of your performance if you come here, even with a good graphics card. I don't claim to have a very good one, but it's decent enough that it runs other games very easily. And you can see my action points jump up there. From, um, what's it called? Grim Reaper Sprint, which is very helpful if you want to continue trades of this thing. Which can be a pain because of the low ammo capacity, which is why I want a quad 50, uh, or a quad lucky, uh, bats enhanced, I guess. Or a LVC, a lower bats cost one. Because that would get this thing up to 36, I believe. And, uh, with the critical capabilities that you're seeing right now with an anti-armor one, I'd only be getting a little bit behind on the damage, because I have stuff like Tank Killer already. See, look at that. Look at those chains. That's amazing. Now, the sniper barrel on this thing adds a bunch of action point cost per shot. But, once you have a good build, it's almost negligible. Get away from me. So, we're pretty much destroying everything, which is good, because that's what you want, post-damage uh, nerf. And I'm still not using stealth. Getting these kind of numbers while using stealth, it's pretty crazy. One mutation you're going to want for this is uh, this uh, Eagle Eyes one, because it gives you 4 perception and 25% crit damage, which is incredibly good when you're using a gun that has uh, enhanced critical damage on it. Because, as you saw there, I did 718 to this guy. So, uh, he scorched, so I'm going to be doing more damage because of my prime receiver. Or capacitor, I guess. See, look at that. Look at that chain. That was insanely quick. This thing is incredible when you get it going with criticals like that. If you kill stuff quick enough, you can carry one critical onto two enemies and get two kills very easily. Because, like, just look at that. I mean, you can just dial in the head, fire away, and go. It's very nice. Now, uh, you could keep the scope on here for that's accuracy, but I'm not noticing too much of a difference with that, because I guess it's when you're, uh, Perception is at 23 at full health without unyielding armor. You don't have to worry too much about that. And, um, we just kind of melted everything here. So, uh, we're going to go off to the burrows. So, here we are in the worst daily ops map. And, um, since I might come here very often in these videos, and my frame rate is so nice here, I might have to name this woman something. Give me an, a name for in the comment section below, if anybody's actually watching this, which I doubt it. But anyway, let's just knock her over and get this started. So this is a good place for the crowd control capabilities of the weapon. And... Oh my. Oh dear. Yeah, um... Oh, they got... Hello. I got, a uh, Clever Girl by a ghoul. That's me. See, look at that. Mm -hmm. He completely misses. Oh, hello, you two. You guys get wrecked. Oh, 
Yeah, so... Don't let anybody tell you that plasma guns aren't good in this game, because... I haven't even told you guys... Well, you might already know if you played this game. Oh, fuck, I got bull Um, you guys might already know if you played this game, but the plasma flamer... That's... That's almost better than this. I mean, I would say it's better than this for DPS, but... In terms of, uh, how far you can stay back with this thing... I'm not sure. It's almost a tie. So anyway, we'll just go through this pipe and look at this disgusting gut shrimp. Did not need to crit that one, but I did because I love critting. My crit carried over there. That was weird. It just... Wow. Do not enter. Well, you can't stop me. I'm a person in Fallout. I'm OP as fuck. So, it's a good double tap. Uh, without a critical. Which is pretty good already. We'll just get to the end here. Probably kill these little more rats if they're ready. I'll just put this and they'll show up. Or not. Well, that tool is dead. Oh, no. Here they come. Haven't been over here very much since daily apps started because you don't really need to be but anyway we are done here and then worked pretty well i guess you could say i mean i barely got below 75 percent health and it was almost a one-shot kill for a lot of these ghouls all right here we are outside of uh captain noob reference and uh we're going to be testing this against stuff like robots since they are pretty tanky See, I can pick up the slack with gun food and my perception, and this thing's range even without a scope. So, I might stick with it having a reflex sight like this, even if it doesn't look as nice, I guess. So, for gutsies here, you're going to want to target the thruster. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, what you want to know about gutsies in this game is that they will cripple the shit out of you. And that they seem to enjoy to... Uh, ignore a bunch of your armor despite how much you might have only really good defense against them it has to be the troubleshooters gear even then it's probably so situational that it might not be worth it unless you're doing daily ops for text runs you just kind of want to hit them center mass their combat inhibitor doesn't really do much more we got a three star legendary cool See, once you shoot them in the thruster, they go down pretty easy. That's like their headshot, I guess, but it doesn't have the little yellow numbers to indicate that uh, it is the critical spot, like their middle eye is. So we'll just nail him in the thruster a few times and kill him before he regenerates, which is pretty good. Jam another stim pack because I suck at the game, at least not a food bill. Um, but yeah. they kind of explode all right so let's get right back at it and see what that guy dropped me because death is pretty much nothing in 76 I mean that was rather shot I did flinch I will believe oh dang it would have been so nice if I got a VE on like during recording anyway let's continue through here You look at that. Very, very mint when it comes to uh, critical shots on critical areas. I mean, 610 on a gutsy. That's pretty good. Gotta let my AP regen a little bit. Oh no, it's a... It's a uh, Fucking ballistic gutsy. Oh, wait, no, that's not him. That's him over there, yeah. See, look at that! Good lord! Like, even with, uh, I mean, I guess you could put adamantium skeleton on if you really are bothered by getting crippled like that, but you see what they're doing. Can't imagine what the uh, bloody builds go through with those guys, especially in daily ops. 
Ooh, legendary. Couldn't quite outpace his legendary regen. So just toss a floater orgasm grenade. Alright, and he goes down pretty easy. Quad, short rest. Give me a second, you're being very rude. See, look what he did to my health, even with dodgy. I don't learn my lessons, do I? No, I do not. I realized on my way, way over here that I have bone worms, and that makes me get more crippled, which would explain why I get crippled so much. Uh, anyway, you can take a look at that drop that I got. It's probably like limb damage, isn't it? Ah, uh, been worse. For this next part, I'm going to be reworking my build slightly. I'm going to take Ricochet off and put Tormentor on so I can get some good crippling action in. Because uh, if we're going to want to uh, do some very interesting things to these bats, i.e. shoot them until they die, um, we are going to want to cripple their wings. Like that one, we got a legendary bat. Let's see if I can't get its attention. These things aren't hit scans, so you're going to have to lead your shot a little bit. Which isn't too bad once you get the hang of how these things shoot. I don't think he gives a shit. And now we got two bats. All right. Probably going to get my ass kicked because I don't have very good uh, blast resistance. Yeah. yeah, okay. That could be a lot worse. But it could also be a lot better, too. I think uh, the reason why this is sucking so much is because I don't have my other team bonus. Like uh, other people with good shit to share. Anyway, I'm getting pretty decent damage on him. His head is just completely crippled. And probably... His uh, friends have rocked up. This is not... Oh! He, there's a punching one. That is not good for uh, me, because... If they punch you, they do so much damage. It's not even funny. See, he, that guy barely did anything to me. But the guy who smacked me with his fist is, uh... It's just terrifying. Just gonna mow these guys down with some good gun flu action. He's gonna whip the hit. And I'll just keep shooting him until he dies. Mm, the Mutant Slayer's submachine gun for our troubles. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to drop something here. Probably gonna be that thing, honestly. Just back up and provide some distance here. Get that crit ready. Spam up to the head. Almost getting almost 500 damage here per shot with this thing when we get a critical. And he gets cooified. And I heard you coming. Dodge you. And annihilate you. I'm not going to pick that up. So, um, there you got it. That is the Slug Buster from the Wastelanders DLC. It does pretty well in a lot of different situations like this. You can take down Scorch Beast pretty well, and uh, once you get your build right, you can even kill multiple enemies, with, even with this tiny little uh, magazine size. And uh, you guys have a good day. I gotta go repair my armor.